still muted good so hello hello i am back and i'm going to go live on my um i'm gonna put i'll do it in my profile but i'll go then to the uh dream job un that's going to be my theme so more live on facebook and uh, Wednesday morning live. Good morning live on UN, UN Dream, right? So the UN Dream. Go live. I am going live. So it's preparing to live stream the meeting. And I actually want to see the YouTube window. So this meeting is being live streamed. So I'll just post. I want to see. So good. So, okay. So hello, hello, hello. It's us, Lily. It's, my name is Lily Gundaka, and I am a consultant, an entrepreneur, a communications trainer, and I am just passionate about the United Nations. Really? Yes. Yesterday, I attended the end of year party of the VIC Toastmasters Club. And at the end of the meeting, I was asked, do you really think that we'll ever have world peace on the earth? And I looked at her and I emphatically replied, yes. So much I have learned in the last two years in my mentoring programs that I have participated in. I have recognized and learned and really believe in order to make something happen, you just have to believe it yourself. If you are working, even in the United Nations or in your family, wherever, in a situation and you just don't believe it will ever happen, guess what? It was Henry Ford that said, if you believe it, you're right. If you believe it will happen, you're right. If you believe it won't happen, you're right. You make it happen. You make it happen when you believe. There is this, this plasma in the universe there are frequencies in our brain, in our spirit, in our aura that transmit out into the universe. And when you have your vision, your dream, your ideal, your goal in your mind, when you visualize, you magnetically attract those very same things into your life, into your atmosphere into your environment i have experienced this you've experienced it too so how aware are you of it how often do you credit that acknowledge it recognize it appreciate it i'm in the middle of writing a blog article and it was going to go on my private blog and currently i'm actually focusing on my professional blog i'm in a mastermind group and a dear friend of mine who is a pilot for austrian airlines however due to corona when austrian airlines sold his airplane is no longer working for austrian airlines and his question on at our mastermind meeting yesterday was what am i i was a pilot i heard these words and thought yeah i was an international civil servant i loved working at the un guess what i am still an international civil servant serving the worldwide community 
as a peacemaker, as an NGO representative, as I was before I started working in a paid job at the UN. And I am building world peace. And if you've got a pilot's license and you flew to Croatia and Paris and wherever else you flew in the last few days, you are a pilot. The fact that you are no longer flying for Austrian air does not mean you are no longer a pilot. I was so grateful to receive the message. Dear Lily, I will honor my identity as a pilot, just as you are a peacemaker who is working for the United Nations. And, you know, the title, the organization, United Nations or International Atomic Energy Agency or Nuclear Security or Women's Federation for World Peace, the labels, the groups, the organizations, that identity doesn't really matter because ultimately it's it's what happens up here it's what happens in your spirit in your mind and manifests even in your aura and people feel it even through the internet even electronically through a video camera the modern technology that we have that can bring me into your office into your mobile phone to talk to you one-to-one -one. isn't that amazing yes yes just as lightning flashes from east to west so we can connect to one another in an instant. And I'm going live on Facebook. It's, it's fascinating how quickly, how easily we take on a negative attitude, criticize, oh, Facebook, YouTube. I, I, the article I'm posting, which will come today is about my revelations, discoveries about kids posting YouTube videos for kids. I didn't know about the Google and YouTube process, the legal proceedings and how much Google and YouTube, how many billions of dollars they paid because of issues about uh, videos for kids and processing identifying information. I believe we can make this better world by focusing on the good things that are happening. We have the opportunities of sharing with one another and multiplying goodness. The article I'm posting in my blog refers to a table topics speech that I gave. The speech is not great. I'm not great. There are issues in everything. But if I didn't say anything and didn't share my post with you and had nothing to share with you, we couldn't connect. You know what the definition of success is getting up one more time. I heard yesterday about somebody who was applying for jobs. I don't remember whether this was specifically UN related, but I believe it was in the UN context and environment where somebody had sent off 64 applications and was getting depressed because they didn't have a job. I sent off hundreds of applications. Yes, I am a retired international civil servant. It didn't just happen like that. I was doing NGO work. I made my applications. I had my ups and downs. And sometimes the downs are really tough. And it's okay. Accept 
them. They are a part of life. You know, the, the Bible verse, to everything turn, turn, to every season, there is a time for every purpose under heaven. It's okay. Acknowledge it when you go down. But get up again. Get up again because it's that getting up again that is the key to success. I forgot to, you know, I have lots of ideas, lots of inspirations. I'm doing lots of stuff, even concurrently, all at the same time. I'm inspiring people here in Austria, a German-speaking country. I'm posting in English. I work in English. I was, I am an English trainer, a communication trainer, a motivation trainer, a consultant, an entrepreneur. I believe in possibilities, in focusing on the positive. I had this because I was going to, uh, you know, typically I like to keep to my uh, Toastmasters timing schedule that my speech is a reasonable time and I forgot to set it when I started and I do not see the time. Oh, there it is, 11 minutes already. Good. That's long enough for today. I just wanted to let you know my blog article is coming. There's lots of other stuff coming. I'm maybe, do you feel it? I'm all pumped up. I'm all pumped up. There's lots of things happening and I'm eager to share with you and especially eager to hear from you. If you saw my last post, did I do it live? Did I share it? I'm eager for feedback, for communication, for give and take, because I know and believe we can accelerate the process, yes, of building world peace when we connect to one another. Because you know what it is? God made every one of us to be different. Why? Because he needs all the cells in our bodies to connect together. Because together we make that jigsaw puzzle complete. With that one piece missing, it's not complete. If we don't connect, it doesn't work. So sometimes we need to overcome our vulnerabilities, our inadequacies, our feelings, our shyness, my lisp, everything that we need to deal with. That's what makes me me. And yes, I, I change. I can grow. I have more confidence. I am a Toastmaster. I recommend joining Toastmasters to learn to gain confidence. And I recommend as I said yesterday at our UN end of year party for Toastmasters, I really highly recommend that people who work at the United Nations become engaged in NGOs, in non-government organizations, in voluntary service. When you've worked for 30 years at the United Nations, and you have a pension as fat as your income was while you were working, then you can afford to give back. And I know many who do. I know many who do. And I highly recommend that you contribute to raising the life expectancy of international civil servants retired by contributing to voluntary service in the international community, in your own community, wherever you live, wherever you are. It's probably more than 10 years ago that I heard a talk by the director of the medical services at the United Nations in Vienna. And he talked about the health situation of the international civil servants retired. In other words, UN workers who at the end of service had compared to the general population, very low life expectancy. He did not 
speaks specifically, but I read into the figures that he was quoting when he talked about health and then he meant mental health. And he was talking about yeah, life expectancy. You know, it ended up meaning so many people did not live beyond retirement age. And for many people who've been at the top in United Nations service, traveling around the world, serving the communities, the international organizations, the countries worldwide, having all of their expenses paid, a privileged life, literally a privileged life, to suddenly become a foreigner in their country of residence because the diplomats who come here to work at the United Nations, many of them end up staying here and living here as a foreigner. They even have to go through certain visa. It's just happened the last few years where the visa restrictions have become tighter and they have to do a German language test and qualify to be a resident of this country. And for many of them, it's a, it's a total stress from being a director of an international department to be a foreigner in a country where you have lived in seclusion for 30 years. It is a stress factor. And I highly recommend everybody who is already working at the United Nations to think about voluntary service and all those who've left the United Nations to get involved with an NGO. And for all you guys who want to work at the United Nations, connect to the dream, believe and know that you can make a difference. I know I am making a difference. I know I have made a difference and I believe together we can make a big difference. And yes, I do believe we can create world peace because I have seen those little steps, those connections taking place and I contribute to making them happen. If you need mentoring, if you want to connect with me, have a look at my website, dreamjobun.eu. There's a link there for a consultancy call. You can find an appointment in my Calendly and we can talk. We can chat and figure out what can I do for you? How can I help you? How can you get on track with your dream job UN, if that's your dream? Or perhaps something else. I wish you a wonderful day. And I'm excited. I'm so happy to have been able to talk to you today. Thank you for listening.